the businesses you guys could buy, why did you guys target buying Pornhub? Out of all the businesses you guys could buy, why did you guys target buying Pornhub? Yeah, so we saw an extraordinary opportunity. Um, you know, the fact that we're it's it's no it's newsworthy or noteworthy that yep. we've made the acquisition. That should tell you that this is a space that has not had mainstream investment, right? That it's a space I always said, you know, when we looked at the business, it's a business that's legal. Not only is it legal, but in every Western democracy, it's constitutionally protected. It, it could not be outlawed, uh, even if you wanted to, but it doesn't have that legitimacy. Uh, and one of the reasons for that, and was we started to examine the business further, was that nobody wanted to say we are the owners of a major adult company, right? Everyone, they sort of, they wanted the benefits of owning a major adult company. It's a profitable business, but nobody wanted to be out front and engaging with other tech businesses, with government, with law enforcement, with regulation in, in that sort of way that m the modern tech industry has to. So we saw in that this arbitrage opportunity, right? Where if people who come from, you know, the mainstream professional networks, whether it's law, law enforcement, tech, finance, et cetera, this is an opportunity to really bring this industry into the 21st century. We saw a, an extraordinary opportunity to do that with this, you know, this jewel of an asset, Pornhub, but obviously the entire company. I love it. You said jewel of an asset. So I'm going to give you some stats here that, that, that we see. A, uh, to visit Pornhub is Sunday. You guys got to Kelly. More than 2.2 million people have signed an online petition to shut down the site. Why do you think that is? Well, I think that the topic of pornography has always been a divisive one. I think it has to do with the topic of sexuality in general, right? There are always going to be different views about human sexuality, and pornography is just emblematic of those. In fact, it's a little more public. It's more in your face. That's the nature of it. It's, it's sex for the public. Uh, so you're going to have people who have really deeply held convictions about the proper... All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakah, Kodash. Double honor to the apostles, that was a great millstone. And Sazi, you doing this thing in sincere and truth and with charity. And then, um, <clears throat> these small hats are wicked, man. They claim to be the people, and this is supposed to be a rabbi. It's supposed to be a rabbi, which means he's supposed to be a teacher. All right? One that teaches righteousness. Part of that is to do what? To separate the clean from the unclean. And he is telling you all oh, the problem is, is sexuality and this and that. No, it's uncleanness, man. Ah, uh, that's a good one. I said it too. That's not the one I want, though. And this app. Yeah, this is, um, well, let's hit this, Ezekiel twenty two twenty six. 26. Her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Neither have they showed, diff neither have they showed difference between the unclean and clean. They have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths and I am profane among them. And this is what the real Israelites did, you know, Jake went off. And that's why we got put in this condition when you're in. Here it is, you have these people that have the land and saying they're the people and doing it way harder than we ever, wicking is way harder than we ever did, man. Niggas didn't have a, a porn hub traffic ring, you know? We, we didn't have all of that. And they claiming to be the people. Look what the Lord said he would do and has done to his people that did the wickedness, which was great, that, that they've done. And he's supposed to be the people when the prophets say when they get the land back, they're going to teach the people the law. When the prophets say right here, Ezekiel 44. And um, it's another one. 23. And they shall teach my people the difference between the holy and profane and cause them to discern between the unclean and the clean. So this is what should be happening, man. Plain and simple. Is it Malachi?
Malachi 3 and uh, 17. Uh, uh, and they should be mine, said the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spared his own son that served him. So the Lord is gathering up his elect. All right, bringing his salvation and get our land back. Then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the most high, him that serveth him not. All right? So that's what the righteous is going to be doing. When Israel gets the land back, when Israel wakes back up to who they are, they're not going to be pushing wickedness and debauchery, man. They're going to push proper judgment, point blank, period. That's what the people are seeking for. All right. Well, well, that's what they will be seeking for. But the Lord establishes his kingdom which wherein dwelleth righteousness. But this is what's supposed to be pushed to the people. All right? Not wickedness. Plain and simple. These are not the Israelites, man. Zechariah 8. <coughs> 20. Thus said the Lord of hosts. It shall yet come to pass, there shall come people, and the inhabitants of many cities, and the inhabitants of one city shall go to another and saying, shall go to another saying, let us go speedily to pray before the Lord, and to seek the Lord of hosts, I will go also. Yeah, many people in strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem, and to pray before the Lord. It don't say that Jerusalem is going to be pushing out porn hub. No, said he's going to come seek the Lord in Jerusalem, man. Just prove these are not the people. Okay? It, it's that plain. It's not meant to be a long lesson. Really, I really just wanted to get one scripture because we touched on this <coughs> topic. We just finished the live stream maybe an hour ago or so. And we touched on it, but this precept right here didn't come out. And I'm going to hit it and then, you know, whatever the Spirit bring out. Then wrap it up, man. It's Hebrews 13 and 4. Because he said all oh, the people are upset because it's the sexuality is in your face. No. It's not that sex is the problem. What you're pushing out there, for one, is all type of sodomy on there. Wicked categories. Stepmother was, was stepson. Stepfather was stepdaughter. That's wickedness. That's in the law. That's in the Levitical law. That is wickedness. The, the, a man is not supposed to sleep with the mother or and her, and her child. Or the mother is supposed to sleep with the father and his children. You know, say you get a relationship, the woman already got a child. So it ain't your child, but you can't have both of them. That's wickedness. All right? Then you got... These these motherfuckers going from rod to rod. It's a bunch of adultery. It's 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 folly, man. It's wickedness. It's nothing modest about it. It's nothing separate about it. It's heathenistic. Look at how low Israel fell when you read the Maccabees in the time of the Greeks, where they was naked in the in, in the gym, the gymnos, which means naked. With a hat on. <laughs> All right. This freak off shit goes back to Greece. When Esau took over, man. That's all this shit is. Greece and Rome times two. 2.0, really. <laughs> but it's Hebrews 13 and 4. Marriage and sex is marriage. All right. It's honorable to all. And the beard undefiled. Whatever you do in the bedroom with your woman, that's on y'all. You know, as long as you ain't breaking no law, obviously. You know? That's on y'all. <coughs> Role play, whatever. That's on y'all. <laughs> Look. It's un it's, the beard is undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, the most high will judge. That's, hey, that's it. That's that. Okay, and a whoremonger <coughs> is a pimp. All right, a whoremonger is a pimp. The blue letter gonna say this, say that, because the word there. Uh, well, let's grab it. Now I say pornos, and pornos, 
A male prostitute is body to another lust for high end. A uh, male prostitute, lawful sex, fornicator, fornicator, you know, etc. Let me see something. Now, I am porne is a woman who touches her body. And it comes from pornos. Okay. But nevertheless, that's not what... The, so you got these different definitions, fornication, etc. But the word you see is, is <coughs> whoremonger for a reason. You go to the base of it, it says to sell. All right? That's why I said traffic hub, man. A lot of that is... is it, it's all sex traffic. Traffic means the sales of good. That's what they selling. They selling sex. Right? But the word whoremonger itself, you know, a man who's, who has sexual intercourse associated with whores, <coughs> specifically a pimp. And that's really what it is. Is that some, that's some online. Of course, whoremonger. Then it says late 12th century because, you know, the, the popular opinion and definition of words change over time. It may not mean what it originally meant. So, you know, you got to look at it. So 12th century says, or it become used commonly for something else. Practice of sexual immorality. Probably from Old Norse, hoard more, adultery, where your whore is an adulterer, right? Ger Germanic, whore is one who desires. Old Norse dominant condition. See, dumb. Right? So we got what a whore is. <coughs> but let's get monger. Old English. Man manger. Merchant. Trader. Broker. Monger. Verb. To traffic and deal. So a whore dealer. All right? A whore trader. A whore merchant. A pimp. This small hat, hey, he can switch his small hat for a pimp hat. If that's what they are, pimps. Who could they they run the porn industry? They run Holly, they run Hollywood, Holly Weird. Everybody's caring about the freak, the freakiness of Hollywood. They're behind all this wickedness. But we read in the scriptures, and it tells you when Israel get the land, not only are they gonna keep the law, they're gonna force, they're gonna force the nations to keep the law, man. The nations are going to have to learn the ways of, of, of the Israelites, man. Revelation 2 and 26. He that overcome the keeping my works until the end to him will I give power over the nations. He shall rule them with the rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall be broken to shivers even as I received them my father. So the nations are going to be ruled over, man. We're not, we're not going to be pushing wickedness to these heathens. As is the ruler, so is the people. The images they push on the TV, the sexy reds, the kids all out here, all into the wickedness, uh, uh, shaking ass, that's the new thing. The teenagers wearing motherfucking, <laughs> wearing, uh, uh, not corsets, uh, Laundry ready to school. All right. That's the same spirit that's on the rulers. The one who's wearing the pin pad. That's controlling this whole thing, man. And selling y'all to sin. But what he'll tell you is, no, this is freedom. This is sexual freedom. No, you motherfuckers are, you motherfuckers are slaves. That's why you're addicted to porn. You you niggas out here addicted, beating off every fucking world. You see, this shit is bugged out. It, it's report. You know, the one nigga beat off, he nutted on the bitch at the grocery store. One nigga's walking up the street in New York, beating off. He he see a bitch sitting on the stoop. He just, random bitch, just let loose on her. You niggas are subject and enslaved to your fucking flesh. That's not freedom. That's a big trick of Satan to tell you you're free. Meanwhile, you're serving the flesh, man. This is uh first, second Peter 2. And 19. While they promised them liberty, 
They themselves are the servants of corruption. For of whom a man is overcome of the same as he brought in bondage. So if you're following after the flesh, you, you, you have bondage to it. That's not sexual freedom. The people ain't speaking against it because, oh, it's just, you know, it's controversial because it's just sex out there. It's because it's immoral. The Lord has given us true sexual freedom. He said the bed is undefiled. You, your, your woman, that's on y'all. But y'all want to go and take it to a level that's crazy. Bestiality. She male shit, all type of weird shit, trains, gang bangs, bukkakis, whatever other subcategories y'all got, man. Just weird and wild, man. There's a judgment for it. With that, all praises on the glory too. Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shah, Basham And I hope this is edifying. Double, double honors to the apostle of the great millstone. And something brothers doing things sincere and truth there with charity. Shalom, Baba Baba.